Also tracking shares of United States Steel Corporation, it's a fun ticker symbol, X, provides first quarter earnings guidance that top analyst estimates in parts to improving demand. Now you're taking a look at shares that were reflecting uh, that move, moving to the upside here. Uh, and there you're looking at some of the targets that they also put out this morning here. Um, they also, within this guidance, they expect to complete approximately $75 million worth of repurchases of common stock in the first quarter. And that is still under the existing $500 million stock buyback authorization as well. Um, so 15% of their diluted shares are expected to have been repurchased since the beginning of December 2021, about $1.1 billion there. It sounds like overall the first quarter uh, guidance was much better than estimated. That's what we're hearing from analysts as well. Adjusted EBITDA going to be $375 million, which is about $70 million more than uh, the average analyst estimate. Mm -hmm. um, and the adjusted earnings per share forecast is better than estimated too. Citi out in a note saying that the raised guidance is ahead of expectations and commentary from the company is constructive. That There's going to be some good momentum here. It's also interesting if you look at the broader supply chain, right, that mm -hmm. This company is obviously getting back up, you know, getting back up online, even in what is maybe, what am I trying to say here? Steel is sort of a, um, an important measure of the environment, right. right, of the economic environment, demand for steel. And so it's not just necessarily a good news for the company itself. Maybe it tells us something about the broader economy. Maybe. I don't know. Manufacturing hasn't been doing so hot. Yeah, within this commentary that they did provide, you got you got two good notes in there and two mass. Uh, the good ones were in the mini mill segment. That's going to return to positive EBITDA in the first quarter. Uh, and then also in the tubular segment, that's expected to deliver its 10th quarter of consecutive EBITDA increases, healthy consumer, customer demand, they're mentioning, and a value-added product miss. However, the two MAS were in Europe and then as well in their flat roll segment. So pay close attention to any results coming up forward in those segments as they report uh, for the quarter when they actually do put the real numbers out there. But this, an increase in the guidance. Yes.